Controversial demonstration at the University of Cincinnati has some campus organizations outraged. Nine on your side reporter Scott Wegener explains why some are so concerned, yet the photos remain. This is like three of them, so it's not going to be this heavy. The demonstration had been in the works for months. A dozen oversized photographs by a university artist who's determined not to be ignored. We're using shock as a tactic to start conversation. The pictures are too graphic to show on television. It's questioning, you know, what is art and what is obscenity and um, what is it that our society and our government deems, you know, worthy to be in, in public space. It's just all about feminism and okay. the women's right to choose whatever she wants to her body. Her vagina is her own. The anatomical images are accompanied by statements from the models, all local adults, dealing with their feelings regarding their sexuality. I think this is great. I don't find this offensive. Others disagree. This is just pornographic. Among them, the UC Students for Life, who are not happy with today's event. An exploitation of women, and it is really, really disappointing that our university is allowing this. Anne-Marie Condit says her organization went so far as to contact the Hamilton County prosecutor to have the demonstration shut down. All this display was going to do was promote a rape culture on campus. These pictures look at women the way that a rapist would look at them. Despite the objections voiced by Condit to our cameras, the event that drew no protests that we could see. It's been very, very calm, um, but I, we think that's a great, a great thing. Scott Wagoner, nine on your side, University of Cincinnati. The demonstration originated as a response to a previous anti-abortion display on campus, which featured aborted fetuses. The photos will be posted tomorrow from 11 a.m. to 3 p.m. at UC's McMicken Commons. An employee.